Got Chipotle, nigga. Got Chipotle, nigga. Free Chipotle, nigga. Got me Chipotle. It's your boy Tony P. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Fresh Drop Friday where we review brand new music that dropped today, which is Friday. Look, I'm gonna get straight into it. I ain't gonna talk to y'all about shit, but this music. Let go. First up, we got the homie K Trinata who dropped his brand new project, Bubba. Look, I I won't act like I'm into like the house scene. I'm brand new to it. I I I I'm really it's really because of K Trinata that I know anything really about it. But man, when I tell you this album is such a bop. This man got some bops on his stuff. And the crazy thing is, is that all the features he has, like, man, he, it goes from fucking Pharrell to Kali Uchis to my homie Mick Jenkins. I mean, like, you really can't fault this album on any part. If you're not into, like, house, the whole techno wave stuff, whatever, electronic music, whatever you want to call it, this might not be the project for you. But, man, if, if you, even if you're not into stuff like that, you got to appreciate this project just for the the vibe that it sets and that it creates, man. Man, Kate Trinata, one of the underground guys, um, dude is nuts. I, I swear, one of the funniest things I love to watch about uh, Kate YouTube, Boiler Room, Kate Trinata compilation. The look on this man's face when people bother him to do this damn Boiler Room show is amazing. The album is dope. I fuck with the album. The features are incredible. You only say so much about a house project, but the vibe is incredible. It's, it, it swings from the really nice, low-key, lo-fi sound to up-tempo stuff that gets your body moving. And that's what I really love about it is that it doesn't stick to one sound for too long. It definitely swings from uh, one sound to another. So you got to appreciate stuff like that. Plus, the features are impeccable. And the ones that I named are just the tip of the iceberg for what he has. He has a... Uh, even, even though he's caught a lot of flack for the Mac Miller shit, Gold Link is on it. I understand if that's not what you're feeling right now, but uh, regardless, as a whole project, Kate Trinata killed it. Um, as far on first listen, I'm definitely going a strong three and a half, four for uh, Bubba by Kate Trinata. I don't rock with this project. I could definitely see me bumping this in the car, um, especially when that summer come back around and the club scene starts popping again. Man, look, you already know what's going on. So yeah, I'm thinking about, you know, 3.5, four for Kate Trinata. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I got free Chipotle today. I'll tell you something. Look, man. I don't know. This is not sponsored. This is not endorsed. But I'll vote with some Chipotle. Next up, we got uh, the new project from Lil Durk and his uh, group. Uh, not gr I guess his group gang. I don't know what you would consider them. But um, Only the Family. That's his, his set. If you know what they are, comment below. Let me know what they are because I, I don't know what the proper term is. But a brand new project. Family over everything. Honestly, at first, when it first started, um, it was... It was it was cool. It was the typical drill, drill rapper, drill rapper music. But interestingly enough, and I was actually was surprised that it, when it hits the song "Riots" featuring G Herbo, then the, the 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 tone of the album switches. And I wasn't really expecting that. It becomes way more introspective, way more in depth. And I I appreciated that way more than I appreciated the first half. The first half is all about beats trapping taking pills you know typical drill rapper trap rapper shit but this second half really gets in depth and you really start realizing that dirt little dirt as an artist um really he really has um a good amount of sensibilities about him you know kind of on the song riots might be one of my favorite songs on that project really kind of giving you the idea that he wants to make uh, a change within the city of Chicago, which is going through a crazy amount of violence. You know, prayers out to the people in Chicago. is al always something going on out there. But he he's showing that he wants to make that change within the city, which is awesome. But from then on out, it just, it really gets way more introspective. And I feel like I got to know Dirk a little bit more. And not just Dirk, but his teammates, um, uh, only the family as well. I don't know the the, his, the particular guys, but um, he has a couple guys on his team that um, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind hearing full projects from. So um, Dirk, if you're listening, man, you got a nice little squadron. If you haven't been putting them guys on songs, you might want to go ahead and start putting them on songs because they got they got the vocals for it. They have the tone. Of course, their writing is 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 not out of their character to to do writing. But I think I do believe. Um, uh, family over everything. It's actually a solid project. I do, I do rock with the project. It has some, it has some, um, some nice bops on it. Um, I do enjoy that song Riot. It's, I definitely appreciate when artists like, when artists like um, Lil Durk, 
get more introspective and they're not just talking about doing drugs, doing drills, killing, you know, do all the, all the, all the ignorant shit. When they really start getting a little bit more intuitive, intuitive, I, I can appreciate them a lot more. So, um, with this project, I'm going to go, go, I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, do a, like a three, three and a half. Um, you know, it's, it's still a drill rapper project as far as like production. Production is not crazy. It's, typical production the lyrical abilities are not out astronomical but i do give it a bit more credit for being uh, more in depth when it comes to content which i don't see a lot especially coming from artists in chicago and artists like uh Lil Durk. Lil Durk honestly is on the song like 90 percent of this project which is great i mean it almost will be his project but i feel like i wouldn't mind hearing more from his uh from the um uh, only the family members. So um, I would think next time, if, if there's a next time for this project, let's get more of the um, only the family uh, members on there, man. Because I definitely feel like those guys got a got a voice or something to say, and they definitely um, I wouldn't mind hearing them on some other stuff. Can't get enough of this damn Chipotle, like right? I'm sorry. Rolling right along, we got Dead Star Two by Smoke Perp. Um, I like Smoke Perp. Uh, since Lil Pump started, ooh, excuse me. Since Lil since Lil Pump started um blowing up and um uh glowing up along with uh Smoke Pearl, I felt like of course with Pump being the the bigger artist to kind of to to blow up between the two, Perp got left in the shadows a little bit more. But Perp has always been a consistent artist. If you really kind of kept track of that sound, or you're if you're a fan of that sound and you kept track of it, um. Perp has always been consistent. Smoke Perp has always been consistent with his um, with his uh, sound, with his production. Um, it, he might not have had as big a hits as Pump, but you know, I don't know if that's a matter of writing ability. I don't know if that's a matter of just you know having money behind it to push projects. But regardless, Perp has always been able to make his own sound and, and do his own thing without sounding too much like Lil Pump. So. With that being said, this project was surprisingly solid. I wasn't, I I don't, I wasn't a crazy fan of Dead Star 1. Um, him and Murder Beats, you know, they're, I think they're a solid duo. They they do their, they do their thing when they get into it. But I mean, the Dead Star 1 itself was, was okay. It was fine. But this one, it, 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 it had a few more bops on there than, than Dead Star 1. I will definitely give it that. Um, nothing too, too crazy. Nothing that I could, I, I really couldn't hear a certain single. Like, I'm sure you could pick a single out of any one, and they all would probably work as singles. But as far as like, okay, this is the one, I wouldn't say any any song on this project was the one. But he does have a consistent sound throughout the entire project. And the project sounds good if you're into that sound. I know a lot of people are really kind of getting tired of this new wave rap, which I get it. It's starting to kind of drag on uh, a little more. And we might actually have a conversation about that in another video. But until then, um, I got to give props what props are due. I personally did enjoy this project from Perp. Um, I wouldn't mind hearing more from it. I wouldn't mind hearing a little bit more, of course, in-depth content. But with artists like this, I don't see that happening too much. You know, they just want to flex, fuck bitches, get money, all that. And I get it. I'm here for it. The production is solid. I don't think Murder Beats is a... Uh, is, um, contributing too too much to it like it was last project but it's still it's, it, it definitely has some um some solid production it has a lot of bait the baby inspired I, I see a lot of like jetson may type beat i feel a lot of jetson may type beat on here at least two songs on here were definitely um the baby type beats so um i mean it didn't it didn't it wasn't a bad it wasn't a bad sound just you know something i noticed that you know there's a particular sound that when you start really listening that uh, that you can attribute to other artists and um you know Hey, it is what it is. But again, um, with this project, I give it about, give it a three, solid three. It's a, it's a decent project. Decent. I can see myself listening to a couple tracks off it. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't expect this to, to blow his career up any more than it has already. But, um, I do believe that it, it, you know, it's, it's a nice addition into the Smoke Perp catalog. So I'm rocking with it. Shout out Perp. Damn it. It's just so like Chipotle tastes better when you get a fruit. I'm sorry. It just does. Damn it. All right. Uh rolling right along. We're gonna get into we're gonna get to um Heavy is the Head by Stormzy. I don't know. 
I'm not a big UK artist fan, personally. I'm not gonna pretend I am. So I do have some bias, somewhat. But to be honest with you, I have been, um, I have been rocking with some of the UK artists a little bit more. Um, props to Drake for enlightening me. <laughs> of course, Drizzy would be the one. But, you know, um, I'm definitely starting to appreciate UK artists uh, a little bit more for what they do. As far as Stormzy though, um, this new Project Heavy The Head is is decent. It's cool. Um, lyrically, he sounds like he's he's doing well. That's and I think that's really the disconnect between UK artists and US artists is like it's not a language barrier, but I guess it's an accent barrier, right? So I mean, like you you listen to the accent and it doesn't hit the same as it would if it was in an American accent. I don't know why it just doesn't. But at the same time, when you listen to the words and you see how it's said in on at least on paper. Decent writing, um, so I won't take that away from Stormzy at all. Um, his writing, I would say, is solid. Um, and honestly, I was I was pleasantly surprised. He has a couple of vibe tracks on it where he's doing a little bit more singing. Um, and, he, and and his uh, take a breath interlude actually really caught me, gave me chills actually. So I got to give him credit for that. So I do appreciate that, and I wouldn't mind hearing more of that from him. Uh, as opposed to like just regular rap songs. I don't know, man. It's just, I think it's just that disconnect. I can't fault him for that barrier between accents, but it just, it just did, as far as rapping, it doesn't catch me. However, his singing was, I'm not saying he's not doing the whole, you know, sing, singing, but you know, he's, he's, he's harmonizing well enough for me to appreciate what he's trying to do. And I do appreciate it. And I do, um, I do like it. Um, it, I feel like it wasn't enough to make me appreciate the whole project as a whole, but I do appreciate him as an artist and him being able to, you know, make something that will catch my ear. There's nothing really crazy on this project. That's like, oh, you gotta listen to it. But, um, it's it's a solid it's a solid bop it's a decent bop if you're into the UK uh, hip hop scene you'll probably like this I wouldn't know but um according uh, like uh, uh, to me it's okay it's it's decent I won't fault them too much for it um, on first listen if I had to give it anything I give it a I give it like a, a two point seventy five three you gonna get me doing the point seventy five now but um I'm just I can't. I'm just not into the UK rap. I'm 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 not. Um, I like I, I like some stuff from Skepta. I um I like some stuff from Gigs. I do like some stuff from Gigs. So I'm 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 there. I I know some things, but I don't know if it's enough to really um to catch it just yet. Maybe I might next year. Maybe not. But as far as this project, as far as Stormzy, um, heavy as the head, um, I'm gonna go 2.75 three. It's okay. It's decent. It's cool. All right, so before we get up out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our Fresh AF single. I just made that up on the spot. Don't you love this like incredible creativity that you get from me, man? Like I just off the dome with it, man. Come on, y'all gotta rock with me. So Fresh AF single from my homegirl, Paulina Evers. Um, one of my one of my high school friends. We go way back, way way back. I'm not gonna tell you how long, but this is my homegirl. We know we definitely go way back. She dropped this single uh, from here. Um, and we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna play a little bit for you so you can get the idea. And we'll come back with a review right here.
from your focus You're driving me crazy You know it, babe Yeah Ooh. Man, Paulina Shouts out my girl Paulina, man. That that track is crazy soulful. And for those who haven't really followed Paulina, I followed Paulina for years. Shouts out to her. She's always been a she's always been a great singer. She's always done very well with guitar. Her production has always been solid. But man, this is a whole new level that I've heard. I personally heard from her way more soul, way more soul than I've ever heard from her. And it sounds really good. Um, I honestly have nothing else to say. This this single is is nuts. I rock with it. It, it the vibe is just insane. Um, it and, and, and the writing is is dope. I can't. I, I like. It's just an incredible song. It's just a dope song. Um, I will ask everybody if you listen to this now, if you heard it, if you like it, make sure you look her up on uh, Spotify. Uh, Paulina Evers. Uh, from here, I guess she has a project coming out. I'm not sure. She'll, I'm sure she'll let me know at some point. But Paulina, you you did that. You killed that. Shouts out to you. We gonna have to do a feature at some point because that was crazy. I rock with that single, in, in intensely. Again, uh, if you guys are an artist or you know an artist that'd be interested in having their songs reviewed, having their single reviewed, having their project reviewed, by all means, make sure that you hit us up on. Instagram at four number four ever e v e r dot taj t a j on Instagram, or you can hit us on Facebook at the Taj Channel the T A J Channel. You should be able to find us. Send us a message. Send us your music. We'll check it out. We'll read it and we'll show you love, man. That's what we're all about, man. We just want to make sure that these artists have a, a platform to have their music heard, reviewed, critiqued. Um, we're always going to be honest. If you don't want honest critique of your music, please don't send that shit. If you want people to blow smoke over your ass, tell you the next up, it ain't, and this ain't, this ain't that. I want everybody to understand that we are here for you and for the betterment of you, just like anything else. You know, I want to see everybody glow, just like I hope you want to see me glow. Anyway, it's your boy, Tony P. Thank you for tuning into the Taj channel. Thank you for tuning in to Fresh Drop Friday. We're going to see you next week. Wow.